All right, so you told me that you have a hump on the floor. You want to show me what you got going on here? Okay, so it's nice and flat over there, and then we hit that hump like right in there. All right, so we want to kind of figure out where that hump is, and it looks like it's about right here. So we're just going to draw a line. Go we'll start in the middle with it first, and then it kind of gets flatter here. So what I have here is an angle grinder, and it's got this cup on here that grinds into concrete. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use this while we have it hooked up. It has a dust shroud on here. We have it hooked up to a vacuum right here, and this is all something that you can rent. And then we're going to work on this um, hump, try to grind it out before we do any floor fill. Now you want to go slow and try to keep the grinder as flat as you possibly can so the dust shroud can do the work. You'll see there, there's a little spoo of dust that came out. That's because I tipped it a little bit. So the flatter that you can keep it, the more dust control that you're going to have. Alright, so you can see how quick that actually really digs in here and, and starts grinding this down. So it's just going to, it's really easy to use this. Just go slow and keep checking so that you don't sit here and grind all day more than what you needed to. Now you've never used one of these before, have you? Nope. Okay, first time. So you can see that Brandon has got a little bit more dust coming out than what I did. It's because he's going a little too fast and he's just not keeping the grinder as flat as he possibly can. So just remember, go slow. This is a little too quick on what he's doing here, but he's still getting the job done. You just want to try to control as much dust as you possibly can and let the grinder do the work. If you go fast, you're not going to be able to get it done as quickly. Slower is faster. Okay, rub your fingers across concrete. You see all that dust that's on there? We want to get all of that off. So, rinse the sponge out, squeeze all the water out, and then just come one swipe. Oh, now flip it, swipe it again, now rinse it. In all the areas that you're going to do some floor fill, give it a quick sponge bath just like this so that you can make sure that you get a good bond between the floor patch that you're using and the floor. So you can see we found another dip here in the floor. So I went along with the level and I drew a line pretty much in the area where that ended. And now we're going to start filling this. Now I'm using a tile trawl here. This is a half by half notched trawl. By the time I spread this and comb it over with that trawl, and if I flatten all those ridges out, we're going to raise it in those areas about a quarter inch. So I like to use these notch trawls as a guide to, so I make sure I don't put down too much fill. It's really a handy guide um, for someone who's never really done this before to make sure that you're not spreading too much fill. And then we'll just smooth this out once we spread all of this. Now this is Ardex Feather Finish that I'm using. This is the product that I only use. I'll leave a link below so you can check it out. You can get it on Amazon. And some of you who live in bigger cities, you'll be able to go and find this at a supplier in your town. That big stand up crawl that I got. We're going to need that. And then we're also going to need a bucket with the water in it that, we have that I've been using to mix. And that sponge. Now I'm just taking a finishing trowel and I'm going to smooth it out. I'm not pressing down too much. I don't want to take any away. I'm just trying to smooth down the ridges. You can see that we'll probably have to put one more coat down after this. 
Now this is a stand-up trawl. I'll show you, uh, I'll share a link with you where you can get something like this. And you can kind of mix it to your desire. You don't have to follow the exact instructions on the bag. You can make it a little thinner and thin it out with a little water. It's going to be just fine to do it like that. Side, the side. flat side? Yeah. Just scrape with that. Yeah, there you go. Get some out. And put a pile down on the floor. Okay, do another pile. A little bit more. Uh, I think a little more even. Okay, now in that area that we just drew out where the lines are. Yep. I want you to spread that in that area using the notch. That's where we found the dip. You can stay a few inches from the line, even. You're fine. You're good. What you just did there was good. If you need some more, you can grab a little more. So this is your first time filling, right? Yep. Okay. Okay, now you can just push that out of the way. What you want to do is you want to hit the edge first. So you want to just kind of follow the ridge. Don't press down too hard, but you want to press down. You're just trying to feather it out and take the excess off from the edge. Now how much extra you got? Okay, so that wasn't too bad. Okay, now just scrape it off into the bucket. Now go over that lightly, comb over it to try to flatten it all out now. Maybe the rest of it? Okay, you can do the edge one more time like you're doing now since you already started. But now I'm talking, go to the back wall and comb straight with the wall. Try to stay away from it just a smidge so you don't hit the wall. You can press down a little bit. I'm trying to get the trawl marks away. So you didn't Comb it one more time, there you go. Okay. Now comb from the next, yep. Looking great. Perfect. I'll grab the big stand-up trawl. Just try to give it one big comb now with that. Get rid of all the ridges. Perfect. Now flip it over. So all of this right here you want to go and get off with the sponge and water right now. So that it doesn't dry on there while we still need it.
Okay, perfect. Now you can just hit it with the big stand-up trowel and should be good. Check those tomorrow to see if we did a good enough job or not. How was it? Good. Okay.